And this is happening near Forest Lane at Park Central in Dallas. There has been so much water, and look at how quickly that water is moving. So much water because we've had so much rain, up to six inches in some area. Some areas have flooded, and this is the result of that. A lot of these areas have been closed by police, and there have been so many water rescues that Allison Harris just referred to. And you're looking at this one right now. This is a person who was in uh, water. If you can hear me, I am on the uh, microphone now. All right, we have Richard Ray live. Richard, give us more information. And uh, this is good timing. Uh, the uh, young lady has the life jacket on. She's climbing in the boat. And that is, uh, that's the rescue. Uh, we've had so much rain here. Uh, we were at another event tonight covering uh, SMU and just getting in and out of the building uh, it was just pouring the whole time. I know we've had reports of six inches of rain in uh, Farmer's Branch. There's certainly a lot of, uh, um, uh, rain here. I, I'm going to pass on something to my photographer, Teresa. They say they you need to turn up the volume on my microphone. I'm talking as loud as I can at this point. So, Richard, we saw that. If you can hear rescue. me, we are. That's terrific, isn't it? That's wonderful. That's what they we trained for. We are just for. just uh, south of LBJ Freeway here. You know, on uh, Park Central doesn't run very long. Just from Medical Center, uh, Medical City. Uh, you know, maybe a couple miles south here up to uh, LBJ. And uh, this is the low spot. This is where water typically does gather in heavy rain events. But we haven't had a heavy rain event like this one for quite a while. Uh, and again, you can see the swift water, the rescue boat in the water. It got the woman off the, uh, the roof of the car. I, and I, I've got to tell you, it's a cold rain. And she appeared to have shorts on. Um, She's got to be freezing. This is a really cold rain out here tonight and, and getting colder as we see the boat start to pull away. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to bring that boat back toward us. We're standing uh, next to a number of uh, fire engine, uh, fire rescue vehicles here. And I'm, this is where the boat departed from. So uh, I think if we stick with this for a little bit, we're going to see this, this rescued motorist coming back to shore. And Richard, in, any indication that there was anyone else with her or just she was the only person in that car? I will tell you that since we've been here, she is the only woman we've seen. And we got here just about the time that they uh, got a life jacket to her and she put the life jacket on. And uh, just as the Swiftwater boat was leaving from uh, the banks of what now looks like a river, of course, it's Park Central, not a river. Uh, but they launched the boat from just uh, uh, maybe 15 feet away from where I'm standing right now. And I presume that they're coming back to this spot. But it doesn't appear that they're trying to get anybody else out of that car. So I'm guessing that's it. Although you can see they're in the water. Now we've got a firefighter in the water. And you can see how much rain is still coming down. And Richard, how high that water is. Oh. Absolutely. It, it, the rain, it, it let up maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, let up a little bit, but then it's been uh, raining pretty good again here now. I think they've done what they're going to do. I think they're all back in the boat headed this way. You guys may actually have a better look at this than I do uh, with the long lens camera. We're probably 125 yards away from where this is all happening. And again, this looks it looks like a river. It looks like a fairly good sized river right now. What, uh, what uh, was and will be again Park Central. Yeah, very fast moving water. This is Forest Lane at Park Central. And when we first went to this image, we saw that young woman sitting on top of her car. And we were able to see live that rescue here on, uh, on Fox War at 10 o'clock to see her be taken to safety by swift water rescue teams who work and, and train for this kind of work on, on a daily basis and it's wonderful to see this happen and see her brought to safety. So many water rescues uh, throughout the area tonight, Richard, because of the torrential rain and the flooding that's resulted from that. You mentioned that uh, the water uh, uh, is not going down. In fact, I think it's going up. I'm looking at the car now. When we were here, you could see part of the front hood. It appears to be underwater now. So the, uh, the water here is still rising as you see that boat approach 
uh, dry land, although there's a spit of dry land over there to uh, our left, and then more water, so uh, they're headed this way. Temperatures falling, it's and, and it's very... That, uh, they're out walking. Yeah, temperatures falling, it's cold, and you yeah, mentioned that she's wearing shorts. Oh, falling. Oh, yeah, shorts or a very short skirt. She's got to be freezing. She has to be just absolutely freezing. But she's safe, and that's the good thing.